back onto some of the good things and some of the risky things about being able to, at this time, when interest rates are this low, uh, being tempted to actually borrow more than we may be able to pay back uh, if uh, interest rates rise. Yeah, low interest rates um, have helped keep property prices reasonably buoyant, particularly in Melbourne and, and Sydney. And uh, as interest rates go down, uh, you can afford to borrow more, which means if you can afford to borrow more, more people are going to uh, auctions and saying, well, I can now pay this much. And so they'll bid each other up and you'll end up paying a higher price for your, for your property. But one thing you need to factor in is that if you are able to borrow uh, more at a lower interest rates, you need to also think about, well, how long is this uh, mortgage for and if a lot of mortgages are 25 to 30 years think about your affordability over the longer period and maybe factor in at least a couple of percentage points increase in the interest rates and see how that would uh, impact your situation and generally for people in uh, who, are, who have a mortgage on their own home that they're living in you don't really want to put any more than a third of your take-home income towards your housing expense whether that be rent or whether that be a mortgage if you do more than that, it starts to put a bit of pressure on the family budget and can and cause uh, you know further challenges for your situation. Always like those uh, those tips. Uh, make a plan and prepare for a couple of percentage points higher when you're making your repayments. And uh, and of course those balancing ideas about uh, how much you're actually paying on your mortgage and how much you can actually afford. Now let's come back to that. How much you can actually afford because. Uh, in a low interest rate environment, the bank will lend you a lot more money. As you referred to, uh, house prices uh, could actually be going up in this time. And In fact, there was some talk yesterday about the potential for housing bubbles in some of the capital cities around the country. Uh, is this the sort of thing that you're grappling with too? A low interest rate environment, people are looking to buy property and now house prices are on the rise. Yeah, exactly. There, there is that scenario happening where prices are on the rise. But the other side of the coin is that, and I think why potentially it might not push prices significantly higher over the next little uh, next 12 months or so. We don't know, obviously. But one thing is that the reason for the interest rate ru- uh, cut is that the economy is not going smashingly. It's, I guess it's struggling to a degree. And so I think this time, because we are cutting it to a, another record low, it's an indication that things aren't really that good in the economy. It's not too bad, but it's not that good. And so people are a little bit more conservative about going out and uh, borrowing too much money because they might be concerned about their job if the economy starts to turn down a little bit. So whilst you are able to go out and borrow more, I think people are starting to realise that it's not always the best thing and because there could be some changes uh, into the future as well.